In the crowded theater at Carver Middle School, senior researcher Scott Hammerstead presented the findings and seemed most excited about the very first area searched at Oaklawn Cemetery back in October. It's just west of Section 13 near the road. This very much looks to me like a, a human dug pit of some sort. Uh, the size of it is very indicative of what could be a common grave associated with the massacre. Hammerstead estimates the pit is about 30 by 25 feet. He says there are other areas at Oaklawn he'd like to take a second look at, too. Aside from Oaklawn, he'd like to revisit the homeless encampment just west of downtown along the Arkansas River, known as the Canes. He says there are two large anomalies there worth testing. At New Block Park, he says the team of archaeologists didn't find anything significant for the investigation. State Representative Regina Goodwin expressed concern about Rolling Oaks Memorial Garden Cemetery not being searched yet. Actually, we do have oversight. And actually, if it's a crime scene or a potential crime scene, we don't give deference to the owner of a private facility. The city says it is still in discussion with the owner of the site. Mayor G.T. Bynum says if the city has to pursue a court order to search, it will. Cleo Harris was in the crowd. He says he's frustrated and has some doubt moving forward. Even though it's been uh, 98 years, it's still a crime scene. And so it's very disturbing that we're not getting uh, the definitive answers that uh, we deserve. 